welcome part 5 we need to find average of the two numbers as well as the average of array elements we need to discuss in this section and my request is to most of them are registered on student in but they are unable to write the examinations because they are not watched the complete video of mock test second point is some of them are attempting the examinations exams but they are not attempting all the questions so we cannot analyze your performance in the test and third point is on 3rd january 2019 at 7 pm i am conducting live stream for giving tips for writing tcs smart hiring for bsc and bca after that i will clarify your doubts on that day average average is equal to sum of the all values by number of values an average of set of numbers is their sum divided by their quantity so come to the program so we need to take an array array contains some elements after that for i is equal to 0 to i less than n i plus plus total plus is equal to plus is equal to is the assignment operator mean it means that total is equal to total plus e of i okay initially total is equal to 0 and we are adding all the values after adding that total by n here i why i am using float means integer divisible by integer will give only integer value but we need floating um, decimal values so that what we are doing is we are using type casting we are converting integer to float so the meaning of type casting is the process of converting one data type into another data type so now if you take only two numbers to find the average simply number read two numbers and sum of the two numbers by two and using type casting we are converting into floating point value that's it and the second one using functions so we need to call these two functions uh, two numbers to the function average and average will do the entire processing and return some value that value will be printed see here reading process and we are calling this function the function goes to here and a plus b by 2 a and b a plus b by 2 and converted into float and it returns float point value and that will be stored in average we need to print the average automatically we will get the output thank you